For the last couple of weeks, KTVO's Vanessa Alonzo has been taking you into the world of organic foods. Up until now, she has talked the basics of organic foods and where they come from. Tonight, in the third and final part of her series, she takes us to the supermarket. It's a part of our weekly ritual, grocery shopping. Everyone has a grocery shopping budget, but some fear that going organic could break that budget. On average, I spend usually about 30 to $40 a week on grocery shopping, but when you're making the switch to organic foods, that could be a bit of a challenge. So that is when I got some help from dietitian Andrea Graham from Hy-Vee to show me how to do it. It all begins with starting small and organized. Yeah, with any diet, you don't want to just jump completely in 100%. It's easier to, you know, make small changes. Um, if you make the small changes, you're much more likely to stick with it for a long period of time. If you know you're going to be spending money on organic food, how do you know what you're getting is 100% certified organic? Right, so you're going to want to look for that organic symbol on the front of packages. Um, it's just a little green and white circle, and it'll say USDA organic. Organic, and that means that it's actually the farm that it comes from has been inspected and it will continue to be inspected to make sure that they are following organic principles. Definitely suggest making a list and I have ours here for us. And also when you make your list, you're going to want to look at that ad because our ad does have organic products in it that you can choose from. So if you know what's on sale, then you can plan your meals around it and help save a little bit of money. So what's worth the price to buy organic? First item? fruits and vegetables. We have a great selection in our store of fresh produce and it's always best if you can get uh, the fresh produce that's in season because not only is it going to taste better but it's also going to be more affordable so it's a great way to save some money. Right now the ones in season are apples so I got a few of them. So the next item is spinach. Is it a great vegetable to have to buy organic? It is. Um, it's going to provide a lot of nutritional value, a lot of vitamins. You can make it salads with it, put it in smoothies, very versatile. It's really good whenever you're shopping on a budget to get foods that are versatile that can be used in all sorts of different um, recipes so you don't get worn out on the same old thing. But what about the other organic fruits and veggies that are not in season? We got that covered. Andrea suggested canned green beans, frozen strawberries, and frozen broccoli. It's just as good to get them in the canned or frozen version. It's going to have about the same nutritional value as the fresh. Andrea says the basic organic dairy products such as cheese and milk are always a great choice and usually are on special. I think it's nice that it doesn't have the hormones in it and you know that it doesn't have those antibiotics um, or growth hormones in there. So that's why I would recommend it. And when it comes to protein, organic eggs are number one on her list. So the next thing on our list to get are going to be the black beans and we're going to do them in dried. Whenever you get beans, it's better to do the dried versions because you're going to get more for your money. After getting my basic organic items in the cart, it was time to put them in a row at checkout. In the end, with tax, everything rounded up to about $40, right on the high end, but still reasonable for my budget. Hopefully all the information and tips I've shared with you over the last few weeks will help you make a big difference in the long run when it comes to organic foods. Reporting from Kirksville, Vanessa Alonso, KTVO News. Thank you for that report, Vanessa.